Considered by many to be the holy grail of the modular building series, this is the Green Grocer. 2008 this released, uh, 2,352 pieces. It retailed when new at £100. The cheapest I could find this this morning was £1,150. Yeah, they start getting expensive at this point. I actually mercifully bought this a, quite a while ago and used. Everything that I bought was used. I've, I've only, I, when I buy the old stuff, I buy used because I'm not a collector. I don't care. I just want to have the thing because it looks beautiful. Um, it's a nice one. It kind of feels like it fits in. It feels like it fits in with the other modular buildings. It's, it's the most generic modular building, I would say. This is the one that just looks like how you imagine a modular building to be. Because uh, the other ones are going a bit fancy sort of now. But this, to me, always... That's what that one always reminded me of. Uh, down here at the front, you got a little greengrocer, then you have a completely empty apartment, another completely empty apartment, and then a little thing at the roof at the back. Um, I like the little view bit that you got through there. That's quite nice, and the door that's slightly off centre. Uh, these bricks, I believe, are the reason this is so expensive. These tan green bricks are just so hard to get a hold of. There's very few sets that actually have them. There's a, a Statue of Liberty set that is filled with them that is like one of the rarest things to get a hold of. Um, from what I can tell. Uh, this is the back, there's a little barbecue thing here, a few little flower things, I've added this umbrella. Um, I think I actually had another umbrella, but I prefer the pink one, because I'm that kind of person. Uh, this staircase of just, well, you tried. I mean, really, that's just not... <laughs> that looks deadly as shite, let's be perfectly honest. I mean, it's, it's like clips and things, and could do better with this. I mean, now we've got the bits for that, a better job could be done, but that seems incredibly deadly. And it only leads to, like, windows. It's just a window escape one. So I suppose it's kind of fine for that. But yeah, there's, it's also built on two base plates. Instead of having one big one, it's actually built on two small ones. I don't think the other ones are built like that, but it's very obvious here. There's a lot of green in the back. Yeah, that's the green grocer in all of its glorious glory. I, seriously, literally, it, you could probably get this for, like, Five, six hundred pounds if you're very, very lucky and you buy it used and fucking smoke damaged. Will probably be the cheapest you can get. So you can find these things cheaper elsewhere than go nuts, but I had a good old search this morning and yeah, it's quite an expensive one. Well, I mean, it's, it's that's kind of, that's the new prices is, is, is the thousands of pounds, but it's, it's nice. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird that Lego now makes more money than gold just by sitting there. Lego, if you want to invest in something, invest in Lego. Particularly this one. Anyway, let's disassemble and show you the interiors, of which there are none. Actually, I've changed my mind. Let's have a peek through, because the actual green grocer bit does have a slight interior. So we've got the little, uh, I'll leave them back down. We've got the little displays here of the apples and the cherries and things. There's some carrots and stuff just tucked in there. But the, uh, the best bit of the interior is just, you can just see through there, is these sets of shelves. There's a few sets of shelves that are just filled with uh, wonderful things. Very hard to get open, because they haven't got a thingy on them just to make it open. So yeah, so you can get all your meat and things. Uh, the Quickie Mart set, the Lego Quickie Mart set, does a lot more of those and better. And that's pretty much it. There's a till sort of, you can see through there. And that's kind of, that's that's it for the interior there. That, that's, that's the whole interior of that section. So, um, that's great. I'll show you top down anyway. The interior, right. So there's the little uh, doors that I was trying to show off. I can't, they, they need a knobble on the end of those. They need to stick a knobble on the end of those so they're easy to open up. Because right now they're just a little bit, too hard to open. There we go. Ooh. Uh, there's the little till and stuff there with a the little clock. Over here we've got, just at the top here, I have to get in frame, it's just little, um, just little letter boxes so people can have all their letters and stuff left in there. There's a nice letter just displaying what I mean. There's a thing down there but I don't know what it is and I can't see it properly. Uh, it is nothing. Just a place to hold newspapers by the look of it. And on this side, the it's got a nice floor on this. I'll tell you what, it's got a nice floor on this interior. It's not just like some of the other ones have been with just the flat color of green uh, or the base plate. It's got just a few bagley majigs and stuff. There's no like connecting door through this bit. There's just a, a connecting door here, which is slightly offset, which I quite like from there. And then the staircase that goes up there. Uh, that's the, the that floor. We've got the next floor, which is empty. <laughs> There's a cat hiding here, but apart from, apart from that, there's a bit of a fireplace in the corner, which kind of looks like a standard fireplace. It's totally empty. I mean, it looks nice, because if you have a look around the side, you can see that it's got like little curtains and stuff, and the curtains have the little, the little gold connecting bit, and then you can stand up there. You can stand on those, that a little bit there, and have a look out. But you can see my little fingers through it, because it's not, it's a bit of a gap there. 
Corners were hard in LEGO back in the day, 10 years ago. You can really see how far LEGO have set their game up in the last 10 years as well. Which I think is the most impressive thing about the modulars. Uh, and in this floor, you've got a clock, which is quite a nice little clock. Grandfather clock sort of thing there. Bit of a carpet and absolutely nothing. <laughs> which can go over there. And then there's the rooftop. Oops, spin that round. And the rooftop's just got that little pink umbrella that's stuck on there. And a little grill, which closes and opens. It's very... Very fragile to close it open. And uh, some chairs, which I may have added in that color as well. I don't think they would have been that, they might have been that color, who knows. But anyway, that's the interior of the green grocer. Let's reassemble it and wrap this up. Well, there it is. That's the uh, green grocer. If you ever managed to find that in a box in an old toy shop at the back in the warehouse that they've never checked, you might want to buy it. Um, if you happen to be a collector, you definitely want to get a hold of that sooner rather than later. Uh, and if you're like me and you just like having all the things and building them and you don't really care about quality, you can get it used. Um, you could also build it yourself. The only problem, this is one of the ones that will be difficult to build yourself just for the sheer number of that tan green bricks that are there. This is this is why this one's actually really quite tricky to get a hold of. This is, it's just a lot, it's just a lot of difficult to find bricks. I mean, they're really pretty much only in this set and possibly one other, so... That's where the problem with this one lies. But you can always build it in a different color if, if you don't mind. I mean, that was my plan originally until I, until I uh, tracked down someone who was selling them off quite cheap. So yeah, there's, there's lots of things you can do. Remember, it's Lego. If you want to collect it and put it in the box, then that's absolutely fine. But the fun is in the playing. Or in my case, the fun is in the building and then looking at it and going, oh my God, I have a Lego town. Ah, fuck you, childhood me. <laughs> no, but seriously, fuck that guy.